These are some of the worst handshakes in the 2023 ATP season. A handshake is normally a way of showing respect to your opponent after a match. However, if someone is not pleased with their opponent or something wrong happened in the match, the handshake will not always be friendly. In this video, we will go over why these handshakes happened. Medvedev and Zverev When Medvedev double faulted to go down 5-4 in the second set, he pulled the single stick out of the net while walking to his bench. Zverev seemed to find it funny in the moment. What Zverev has just done? <laughs> Zverev just... Medvedev ended up coming back from a set and a breakdown to win the match. Medvedev comes through a late night Monte Carlo marathon. What a match it was. Not a lot of love between the two of them. Sasha is not like Kasper, is not like Diego, is not like Andre. When he says someone is not fair play, you're like, okay, great. Uh, look at yourself in the mirror. Rune and Warenka. The two met in the Paris Masters at the end of 2022 and had a very frosty handshake there. Heartbreak for Stan Wawrinka. At the end of their match at Indian Wells in 2023, Rune made a reference back to their handshake in Paris. Keeps fighting, keeps going strong. You got nothing to say now? You got nothing to say now? Thank you. What do you want me to say? Alright, Shelton and Djokovic. Shelton beat Tiafo in the quarterfinals and did his hang up the phone celebration. In the next round, he faced Djokovic. When Djokovic missed, Shelton said he didn't like that one. Djokovic. Then Djokovic did this after a wild point. After winning, Djokovic mimicked Shelton's celebration. Says no, not yet. Tiafo and Musetti. At the start of the third set, the rain started coming down, and Tiafo wanted to stop. It's, it's a baseline that we need to check on the court, on the lines. I'll check after this game. The momentum was going in the way of the Italian, as he won the second set and went up an early break in the third. Of course you're gonna let it play when this guy's in front of you. How are we playing on this court right now? How? The match was suspended for the day, and then Musetti closed it out the next day. Oh, he's missed it. What a dig. Sinner and Rune. At 3-4 in the third set, Sinner missed a forehand long but Rune still blasted the ball right back at Sinner with pace. Sinner had to dodge the ball or else it would have hit him. Sinner was upset about this and argued to the umpire, as this was the second time that this happened during the match. Rune ended up winning the match. Holgerina into his second Masters 1000 final. What a match. Fognini and Brooksby. Brooksby hit a lucky net cord to break Fognini's serve and didn't apologize. Fognini had some words for him on the changeover. Reactions like no other. Brooksby won the match. But he can't save that one. In the 2022 in disappointing fashion. But he starts 2023 with a win. Djokovic and Nori. In the beginning of the second set, Djokovic hit a bad volley and turned around midpoint. Nori then hit Djokovic with an overhead, which Djokovic wasn't pleased about. That was more. It's 
quarter final here. A handshake, a touch on the frosty side. Those are the things that we players uh, know that in the locker room that's it's not a fair play. It's, I mean, it's not it's not how we you know treat each other and uh, but again it's allowed. So Mutet and Andreev. When Andreev went to warm up volleys in the warm-up, Mutet tried hitting the ball as hard as possible at Andreev. In the handshake, it got physical. <laughs> Baez and Fuksovics. Five years old? No, 22. Acting like a five years old, you know? I don't know. Yeah. These fucking young 20 years old guys. Playing so unfair. Almost for every point I miss. Screaming like a bitch. Fuksovics wasn't happy about Baez screaming after every point, so he let him know in the handshake. Fish. So that's gonna be it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want more videos like this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.